we're going to take a look at using the sigma notation or the summation notation on the TI-84 uh, graphing calculator. Um, on my example here to the right, I have done a relatively short one and have worked it out by hand showing how that summation would work. Um, a lot of times your summation notation will have I's in there, but it really could have a any variable letter you wanted. It could be written with a K, it could be written with an X, either way. Um, just to review the summation notation kind of quick here, um, your I variable is going to run from 2 to 5, and you will expand this out, this sum out, replacing I with first a 2, and then a 3, and then a 4, and then a 5. Doing this by hand, it would involve a lot of calculations till you get down to 258. We want to uh, demonstrate this on the graphing calculator. All right, the summation notation is located in your math men menu. So if you press the math button, all right, you could scroll down. It's going to take a long time if you scroll down. You're going to get to it faster if you scroll up. Scrolling up will then go to the bottom of the list and come up. It is that third one right there. So you could hit a zero or just arrow up till you get to it and then press enter. All right, once you do that, the summation notation then comes up. You're going to then just place in everything that you need. All right, um, I just usually go ahead and use an X because I can get to it really quickly here. If I let uh, my variable be X and I'm going to run from 2 all the way up to 5, I arrow up to 5 and then press over. Okay, now let's see, I want to put the function in. The whole entire uh, summation notation has a set of parentheses around it. Those will be the extra parentheses. I'm going to write this entire thing on the inside. So three parentheses, x, since I used an x in my variable underneath, plus one, close my parentheses, and then squared that. All right, and then I went ahead and arrowed on the outside. All right, once you get everything entered in, then you can press enter, and it's going to return the value of 258, which is what it was when we worked this one out. All right, so just a real short, simple um, tutorial on how to use that summation notation or sigma notation on your TI-84 graphing calculator. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends.